<clears throat> you know what? I think the last two days we, we practiced well. I think our um, I think our scout team has really did a good job, and I think I think we had good focus. I think we got the work done that we needed to get done. And uh, looking forward to you know finishing up this thing tomorrow as far as what we'll do on the field. And then, uh, you know, just hone it down. Hone it down to the things that we really feel strongly that we can execute and, and call them and play ball. And uh, let our guys play uh, fast, knowing that they're uh, certain of what to do. And uh, see if we can out-execute them there. And that's hard to do. That's a great trademark for Missouri football is how consistent they play and what, how great they play fundamentally over the years. So uh, it'll be a, a heck of a challenge for us. But, Looking forward to playing the game. Looking forward to being under the lights. We're looking forward to, you know, the dog walk and our fan base and our student body. Just the whole thing is going to be great. <clears throat> we got a question. You're, uh, um, you, you addressed it earlier in the week. You said we're looking at third down conversions. You know, you did that. That was a big thing. Work hard. Yeah. So uh, how, how's, how's that? Today was progress? a big day for that. Um, I mean, you never know till you get in the game and do it, but I think we've got a good plan. I think we were throwing and catching well, and when we're, you know, there's there's runs built into it as well. So, um, again, that that's kind of an example of, you know, we just need to make sure whatever we call in that situation, that you know we really can ex execute well, that we really understand it well. And uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather run the same play two or three times um, and execute it, uh, you know, rather than have this scheme, that scheme, and, and then maybe not be able to do it just as just do it as well. So um, I think we're on the right track, but, you know, proof's in the pudding. So I can't say we're doing better on third and long or third and medium or third and short unless we do better in the game. And it, to follow on that, uh, you know, obviously at the end of the game, you know, uh, you're in a press situation. You basically haven't played two men in a lot there toward the end, and you guys really moved. Grayson really moved the team. Uh, you had an opportunity to score, and when Reggie doesn't catch it, and then you couldn't have been any farther back than right. you started in that last drive. Right. Is that? I mean, is that is that in some way an indication like that's the way he's got to play, or the offense has to go, or is that well, just? Um, I thought they did a nice job of moving the ball down the field, like you said, in a short amount of time and a long way to go. Um, and we, I think we had two, we had at least two third down conversions in that drive, maybe three, I don't know. And uh, so, um, you know, I don't know if we need to go, I mean, you can't really go into a one minute drill, so to speak, on, on a one play uh, type situation. But it just goes to show if you do block and you do run routes correctly and put it on the money, you got a chance to move the chains. That's the big thing. Coach, in terms of the third down issue, how much of this, how much of it is putting yourself in situations to be successful on third down, yeah. on first and second down yeah, it's versus huge. actual problem? It's huge. It's huge. Uh, the question is, you know, on the third downs, I mean, basically you're saying how many times is it third and long? And, uh, way, way too many times it was third and long. And, and more times it was third and over 10. So that's either because of a penalty or because of a negative yardage play somewhere along the way. Um, <clears throat> you know, so we just, like you say, first and second down is so crucial. Uh, the game that we were clicking the most uh, was South Carolina, but I think we only had three or four first downs the whole game. You know, so we, we did great on first and second down. We did so good we didn't have a third down. <laughs> you know, and there's a couple times that, you know, at the end of the game, you know, you'll, you'll run the ball no matter what. Vanderbilt, we had about two or three drives. We were just trying to you know, use as much clock as possible. And uh, you know, you're still allowed to get a first down, but you start to run the ball no matter what the down and distance is. Sometimes that'll affect it. But, but like I said this before, if you, if you pull the three-minute stats out and you, and you uh, just take it from there, the, the percentage just is not what it needs to be. And you're right, we need to do a better job on first and second down, allowing ourselves to have a more manageable third down situation. <clears throat> Mark, you're talking about running the routes correctly. Um, you uh, lost two pretty good receivers uh, from last year's team. Uh, you have uh, the position coach there that, that isn't here anymore. Is there a transition period going on with some of that? Um, I think, you know, 
the big thing is uh, the guys that really have had a lot of experience is 81 and, Ma and Malcolm, you know, Davis and Malcolm. And uh, Isaiah had a little bit of experience, but he pulled his hamstring. And now we got Terry Godwin in there who's had no experience. So we're definitely, and, and he's run a couple of routes that, that, that uh, weren't quite what they ought to be. And, and uh, <coughs> when that happens, you know, you can get in trouble back there. And then we've got other, most of our backups are true freshmen. And, um, and because of that, we're probably not playing them as much as you'd like to play your second team guys. We, we really need to force ourselves to get them in the ball game because that's really the only way they'll develop. They, they will develop in practice, but they'll develop more when they get in the game. And we probably need to do a better job of uh, giving those guys opportunities. But there's a lot of learning going on for sure because uh, there's just not that many guys that have had um, reps. Who we had? Uh, Connolly, we had uh, Michael Bennett. Was there another? 